Welcome to Social Work Updates. In this video, we are going to talk about the social work history in the Philippines, by Thelma Lee Mendoza. During prehistoric period, Filipinos lived in small scattered communities usually located along mouths of rivers and coastal plains where they get their foods and daily living. The headman and the leader of their community is called Dadu. The Dadu claims to be the arbiter and leader of their tribes in times of danger. Social welfare work in those times centered around mutual protection and economic survival. This caused groups to band together and communities to link with each other through marriage among their members. Communities were grouped together to form pueblos, creating large concentrations of people in an area which resulted in health and sanitation problems, personal maladjustments and economic dislocation. There was also problem of destitution or indulgency resulting from the positive methods of the Spanish conquerors towards the defiant natives. The motives was religious, that is to do good to others for the salvation of their souls. This was the teaching of the church which the Spaniards brought with them and which for many years was the underlying philosophy behind all social welfare in the country. The early Spanish missionaries not only taught religion to the Filipinos but also administered hospitals, asylums, orphanages, and schools. Insular Board, coordinate and supervise private institutions engaged in welfare work provide subsidy to expand the services of certain hospitals and asylums which were under its supervision. On February 5, 1915, the government created the Public Welfare Board with the passage of Legislative Act No. 2510, essentially to coordinate the welfare activities of various existing charitable organizations. The Filipinos taking over reins of government during Commonwealth period specifically health, welfare programs were expanded and improved new services were organized such as rural charity clinics, quarantine services, home for mentally ill, defective children as well as for the aged and infirm and welfareville. President Manuel L. Quezon working for social justice prevailed upon the National Assembly to pass the anti-usury laws, eight-hour labor law, laws fixing minimum wages, laws related to insurance, pensions and women and child labor. On 1940 Office of the Commissioner of Health and Public Welfare, the office took charge of health and welfare services between 1930 and 1940 was abolished and replaced by the Department of Health and Public Welfare. In 1941, EO established under the Bureau of Public Welfare. Second World War which brought death and immeasurable suffering to the country's population was to last for three years from 1942 to 1944. Social welfare activities during the period consisted mainly of giving medical care and treatment, as well as food and clothing to the wounded soldiers, prisoners, and civilians. The Bureau of Public Welfare which was closed when the war broke out was reorganized by the Executive Commission and instructed to attend to the general welfare of the residents, and to give food and comfort to release prisoners for concentration camps. On October 4, 1947, reorganizing the need for a more centralized and better integrated social welfare program, the Bureau became the Social Welfare Commission and was placed under the office of the President Bureau of Public Welfare reopened in 1946 but lack of funds greatly limited its operations. 
child welfare work including probation and parole services and institutional care for various groups, public assistance in the form of relief and case work services to indigent war victims and the physically handicapped infirm, coordination and supervision of all public welfare activities. On January 3, 1951, the Social Welfare Commission and the PAXA were fused into one agency called Social Welfare Administration shortly after this, the agency established a staff development service and began accepting social work field practice students from the then newly opened social work schools in metropolitan Manila area, and started to conduct more surveys and field studies on income, housing needs, and the needs of special groups such as handicapped. And that's it. Thanks for watching. For more social work updates, please watch and like the video, hit the bell, and subscribe to my YouTube channel.